Meantime, a new bipartisan proposal to solve America's child care crisis. Well, that's also gaining steam on Capitol Hill. Emily Wilkins in Washington with those details. Emily? Hey, Kelly. Well, yeah, concerns over the cost of child care, they've long been on lawmakers' radars, but they're now going to have a unique opening to do something about it next year in that upcoming battle over taxes. Democratic Senator Tim Kaine, Republican Senator Katie Britt, rolled out a new proposal today meant to both lower costs for families while expanding the number of caregivers out there. Now, one part of the proposal is to expand a tax credit for kids and dependents. It would also make it refundable, which, of course, is key for low-income families. Plus, their legislation would triple a tax credit for, for businesses who provide child care for employees. They would allow a maximum credit of five, $500,000 and cover up to 50 percent of expenses. Small businesses would stand to benefit even more. Their maximum cap would be $600,000, and businesses could actually partner with each other, team up, to provide child care to a larger pool of employees. Now, a lack of child care has resulted in the the economy losing an estimated $122 billion each year. The bill is endorsed by the Chamber of Commerce, and the senators are hoping that it's going to get enough support to make a final tax package. And Kelly, of course, we will be watching that fight very closely next year on Capitol Hill. And explain, Emily, again, how it would work to, you know, is it, there's making it more affordable for the buyer, right, by subsidizing it so that I don't have to pay the full cost. And then there's making it more affordable by actually lowering the cost or providing, you know, more services. What are the details here? Yeah, so it's kind of this two-part thing where it, you threw a series of tax credits and tax deductions that families can take advantage of. The cost for child care should be able to come down. Plus, they also have a separate measure that's kind of a part of this larger package that would create a grant program, and that would go to helping states fund additional child care workers. A lot of them have said, look, you know, we, we love what we do. We want to do it. But unfortunately, we can't charge as much as we need to pay folks uh, because then families would be priced out. But of course, our folks are leaving the industry because it's so easy for them to find better paying jobs elsewhere, even though that they want to stay with us and they want to stay in that child care. So working on the supply side, working on the demand side, and of course, really trying to tackle an, an issue that spans both sides of the aisle right now in terms of what lawmakers see as the need. Yeah. Or you want, you know, at some point, is it just universal pre-K or something? I mean, it's, it's like another mortgage, you know, those, those preschool years can be. Emily, thanks so much. Appreciate your